Hey everyone, welcome to Technic Books. And as you can see, this is Google's new feature operating system, and it's named after a color and a flower. So here you see that it's in a carded layout. Swiping from bottom to top, it will bring up Ask for Anything menu, and it's just like Google Cards. Tapping on a card will take you to the application itself, and you can also click on the home button. Clicking on the profile picture will bring up a menu for adjusting sound and brightness. Nothing here really works, it's just dummy buttons and all those stuff. The only thing correct is the time and even the battery status is not right. As you saw, this is this is a Google keyboard. It looks like the Google keyboard but it lacks many features that Google keyboard offers. Swiping from top to bottom, it will bring up the cards of different applications in the home page itself. It's really good at multitasking. Here is an email widget. Even now it's in the beta state and nothing really works. The multitasking on this device is really good. You can also click on a card and do multiple gestures with it. To do multitasking on this operating system, you can click on a card and then swipe the card, drag the card into another application. It will open the applications in a windowed layout. You can also uh, drag in three applications for multitasking. Compared to any other operating system in the market, this method of multitasking is really effective and looks really promising. Well, that's it about the user interface of Google's new feature OS. And it requires a lot of new updates for getting into a workable state. Now let's see how to install the Fuchsia OS on your Android phone. So currently Fuchsia OS aspect is not available, just the Armadillo UI of this operating system is available as an APK file. You can install it after downloading it from the link I give in the description. So you can go to settings if you haven't enabled the unknown sources installation for installing this um, APK file. You should make sure you should make sure that the unknown sources button is enabled before installing this APK file so that we can install it properly. So after installation you can open the application and you will see the card layout and everything of the U uh, UI in this layout. Well that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I will be updating you with more and more features soon and more news about this Fisher OS. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Bye. See you in the